let's see how fast we can add a filter to this FT817. So there you can see it says FT817, and uh, the band is completely trashed tonight. With the RF gain down, uh, with the attenuator on, and the preamp off, I can hear this one number station. And so you can tell there's very little IF filtering there. It'll go up pretty high frequency. All right, so that's our test. We know it works, and we're going to change the filter. So I think we have five screws to remove. I was able to get the uh, Yesu... I'll start in the back here. We were able to get the Yesu XF-115C, which is the 500 hertz filter. Uh, supposed to be, uh, I think, 60 dB down, 500 hertz. And I, w I guess I would have kind of liked to get a 300, but they're getting ridiculous, like over 300. This was, I thought, <laughs> quote, a deal at 200. So I, I have another one I'm going to convert, which is on a bigger... Uh, PC board and I've ordered the carrier board to convert it to the FT8817 uh, size and that should be here I don't know what how long it takes to get here from the Czech Republic maybe uh, a few weeks or something like that so I'll do another video once that arrives and we'll try it uh, oh wait that's a speaker that's a speaker screw I don't need to take that one out so I think that's it one two Three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, that's all of them out. So let's see if we can uh, cause this to lift here. Yep. Okay. As I remember, the wires are on the right. We have to tilt it to the side. I probably should have taken the side bracket a little bit more loose. That was binding up a little bit. That slowed me down a little bit, I guess. Okay. So as not to pull any wires off, we'll be careful here. So the speaker lead's really short on this one. It's taped in, so I'm gonna pull it out. See, it's taped up into the lid. So there's our filter hole in the front, and you can see it's noticeably empty. Here's the filter I picked up if you want to note the part number it's a 526-8686-030 and uh, because it says xf-115c it's not the cn which is the narrow the 300 hertz three pins on this side five on this we'll drop it on top i hope it didn't drop very nicely on the right let's see oh it's got one pin that's slightly bent There we go. So that's the filter install. We will turn it back around, install the speaker again. So it's it's not a real job. It's pretty short. Maybe that tape helps keep it from getting screwed underneath the cover or something like that. All right, we'll put in uh, a couple of screws one in the back and one on the side, and then we'll test it and get the thing turned on. I could do the rest of the screws later. We won't do the double speed YouTube thing for you. All right, that way we won't fall apart. We'll connect up the antenna, turn it back on again. Okay, now, if we get this menu where it says narrow, if we hold that down, we're going to menu 38, where we can turn the optional filter to SSB or to CW. We'll add it to CW. I'm kind of surprised that the narrow part sounded like it was... Um, 
more like on the CW side, but let's see. Oh, that does work. Definitely more of a peak. Yeah, and it disappears when it gets up higher, so I think that was a success. So I think that was five minutes, that's not too bad. So let's see if you're if you're checking. Let's see, there's the serial number. This is one with an FCC serial number, so it's not the Japanese one. And uh, it does have the internal battery, as you can tell, because it's the only thing connected to it. So success, thanks for watching.